look concerned. I'm worried about Persephone. Persephone can look after herself. She's incredible. I agree, but these are strange times. I've heard that some ungrateful delinquents plot against her. These ungrateful delinquents... Could they be right? Bah! You give them too much credit. Still, Persephone needs protection. Don't look at me. There's a friend of mine, and your father's, Kiros of Zarax. He's a strong and honorable warrior. He's been abducted, but if we could free him... You're suggesting we make a human Persephone's bodyguard? With Kiros at the ready. The humans will think twice before attacking one of their own. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were in love with Persephone. No one understands her the way I do. Avonis sees a cruel despot. To her husband, she's a trinket on his arm. And what do you see? Me? Oh, I don't know. I've never had anyone ask me before. She's... everything. How do you know this, Kyros? He was an aide, of sorts, to your father. Every great painter needs a hand to crush their pigment. That was Kyros, a warrior. Say no more. I'll find Kiros for you. Ah, I knew I could trust you. While you're gone, I'll arrange a meeting with Persephone. Bring Kiros to the heart of Elysium. We'll be there. notices me here. Zarax, Hermes sent me. That keymaker is predictable. I'll give him that much. Peter Goros was my father. Things happened. Now it's mine. Ah, that right? Uh, that makes us family. I knew the man well. I heard. This way. Persephone is waiting. Persephone herself? All right, Kiros. Let's make this quick. You said this is going to be easier than you thought. Since we're basically family, I'm trusting your honor. I work for Adonis. But you were caged by humans. Yes. And Hermes found out about it right around the time Persephone was coaxed into deciding she needs a bodyguard. 
You staged the whole thing, and you're using Hermes to infiltrate Persephone's lair. <laughs> you're no simple warrior. Before I met your father, I had four sons, each a warrior. When my third boy fell in battle, there was only guilt. I'd cried all my tears for the first two. Go on. And with the fourth, I felt longing. Sadness had become my only friend. And I had no one left to grieve. Warriors don't bring peace. They bring sorrow. Huh. So by getting behind Persephone's defenses, you think you can prevent war? You could convince her to surrender, or distract her while Adonis escapes. Anything but battle. But before we go to Persephone, I have to send confirmation this plan worked. Will you take me? Fine, but be quick. We need to go to Persephone and their miss. They're waiting. You really think you can save lives? I'm not sure how death works in Elysium, but suffering is eternal, and that is something I can't stop. Hello, hello. Off we go. <laughs> That's all of them. Let's keep moving. Once Adonis hears my plan work, maybe he'll stand down. Hurry, Kiros. We need to get back to Hermes. Or Persephone might suspect something. I hear Persephone likes to test her new recruits. And I've got a bit of a temper. If you see me turning red, I'll think of something. Where have you been? No one keeps Persephone waiting. It got complicated. We took a less direct route. What matters, Hermes, is I'm freed thanks to you. When I go to my queen, I will make sure she's grateful to you for my service. Explain it to Persephone. She's waiting. I'll make sure she knows this was entirely my fault, not yours. I'm sorry I was ungrateful. Kiros will make a strong guard. Thank you again, friend. Here, Hermes. Keeper, I've been robbed. <laughs> 